hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in today's lesson we are going to consider the problem of finding the root or the solution to a fixed point problem and the connection between fixed point problems and root finding problems so assuming that we are given a root finding problem a root finding problem of the form f of x equals zero where we need to find the root or the solution to this equation now the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to transform this root finding problem into what we call a fixed point problem into a fixed point problem also of the form x is equal to g of x now we can have various forms of the form x is equal to g of x from f of x equals zero. However, the condition is that we need to obtain, we need to obtain the form x is equal to g of x such that the absolute value of g prime of x is less than 1 at x equals x naught so this is the condition where x naught is said to be the initial approximation or what you call the initial guess and then this same x naught should be found in the closed interval the closed interval a b now at the end we can apply the iterative method by successive approximations given by xn equals g of xn minus 1 and this we can use this to find what we call the approximate root of the given equation the approximate root of the given equation so let's go over this again you'll be given a root finding problem of the form f of x equals 0 where we need to find the root or the solution to this equation. So we first of all need to transform this root finding problem into a fixed point problem of the form x is equal to j of x. Now, as I said earlier on, we can have various forms of x is equal to j of x from f of x equals zero. However, we need to obtain the form x is equal to j of x such that the absolute value of j prime of x is less than 1 at x is equal to x naught. Now, if this condition is specified, then we say that xn, which is this xn, will converge, okay? It will converge to the root of the given equation. However, if this value at the end becomes greater than 1, then it means that, then it means that xn will rather diverge, okay? xn is going to diverge which means that xn will not be approaching a specific approximated value it will be jumping from one value to the other and so on and so forth so whenever this condition is not satisfied then it means that we need to find another form of x is equal to g of x until this condition is satisfied at x equals x naught so let's try to use the information the previous information to solve this problem so we have this to be our first example we are asked to use a fixed point iteration method to determine a solution for x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0 on the closed interval 1 2 and we are asked to use x naught equals 1.5 and perform exactly four iterations so to solve a question of this nature the most important thing that we need to have is the value of x naught. The most important thing is to know the value of x naught before you can continue with the rest of the solution or the solution process. Now, in a case where x naught is not given, in a case where x naught is not given, however, you have the closed interval a b, then x naught can be any value inside of the closed interval a b, or we can also use the formula x naught equals a plus b all divided by 2 to determine the value of x naught so this is when you have 
the closed interval a b but then you are not giving a specific value for x naught now also in a situation where you don't know the value of x naught neither are you giving the closed interval so no closed interval is given okay so if you don't have the two then you first of all need to find the closed interval and then out of it you can determine the value of x naught now whenever the value of x naught is given regardless whether or not the closed interval is given since you have the value of x naught you can i mean continue with the solution process so the most important value is the x naught value so we are given a root finding problem of the form f of x and that is equal to x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0 so this is a root finding problem now we need to transform this root finding problem into a fixed point problem so what we do we need to transform this to the form x is equal to g of x such that the absolute value of j prime of x is less than 1 at x equals x naught in this case 1.5 so from f of x we can try to make x the subject from this x cube or this x the subject because we need to get the form x is equal to j of x so first of all we are going to choose x so from x okay or let's say negative x whichever way so from x we have f of x to be x cubed minus x minus 1 equals 0 we transpose negative x to the right hand side so we are going to obtain x cubed minus 1 that is equal to x and then this is the same as this is the same as x is equal to x cubed minus 1 and we say that the right hand side is equal to g of x therefore we have g of x to be equal to x cubed minus 1 this is the value of g of x so at this point we need to see if this condition will be satisfied at x is equal to 1.5 okay at x is equal to 1.5 so we have the absolute value of g prime of x that is equal to we are going to differentiate this function or this equation with respect to x so we differentiate x cubed we have 3x squared this is a constant we differentiate a constant it goes to zero so the absolute value of this should be less than one at x equals x naught which is equal to 1.5 so we are going to substitute 1.5 for x in here so that is going to give us 3 times 1.5 or square less than 1. Now you realize that this is definitely going to be greater than 1. So it means that xn will diverge. Okay. It means that xn is going to diverge. So we can't use the formula g of x equals x cubed minus 1. That is not going to work. So let's move on to making x the subject from x cube so from x cube from x cube we are going to have from f of x x cube minus x minus one that is equal to zero we transpose negative x negative one to the right hand side so we are going to have x cube equals x plus one so at this point we can multiply both sides of the equation by the exponent 1 over 3 here also by the exponent 1 over 3 therefore this cancels out that we are left with x equals x plus 1 in the bracket all exponents 1 over 3 and this is equal to g of x so therefore we have g of x to be equal to x plus 1 all in a bracket exponent 1 exponent 1 over 3 so this is g of x 
so let's see if this condition will be specified for this form of x is equal to g of x so we have the absolute value of g prime of x that will be equal to we are going to differentiate this with respect to x so using the chain rule the short form or the shortcut form of the chain rule we are going to drop down the exponent that is 1 over 3 we differentiate what's in the bracket with respect to x derivative of x with respect to x is 1 now this is a constant we differentiate and it goes to 0 so 1 over 3 times 1 is still 1 over 3 okay and then we are going to repeat what we have in the bracket that is x plus 1 and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 so 1 over 3 minus 1 is negative 2 over 3 and this should be less than 1 at x equals x naught which is 1.5 so we are going to have 1 over 3 we substitute 1.5 for x we have 1.5 plus 1 all exponents negative 2 over 3 and then when you compute this we are going to obtain 0 0.1809 dot 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 and definitely this is less than 1 therefore the condition is satisfied with this form of x is equal to g of x at x equals x naught which is 1.5 therefore we can conclude that the form x is equal to g of x which is equal to x plus 1 in a bracket all exponents 1 over 3 is going to work so in that regard then we are going to obtain the iterative function the iterative function that is x n equals g of x n minus 1 we have x n equals here we are going to have g of x n minus 1 so wherever we see x in g of x we are going to substitute and put in x of n minus 1 so this is going to be x of n minus 1 plus 1 all exponents 1 over 3 so this is the iterative function and then we are going to perform four iterations so we have x naught defined here as 1.5 therefore for the first iteration we are going to have x1 that is equal to g of x naught and that is equal to from here we can have 1.5 okay because this is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so 1.5 plus 1 all exponents 1 over 3 and this is equal to 1.35721 1 1.35721 for the second iteration we have x2 equals g of x1 that is equal to so this time we are going to put in this value in here okay because it's x n minus 1 so x 2 minus 1 that is 1 and that is this value okay so it becomes 1.35721 plus 1 all exponents 1 over 3 and that's going to give us 1.33 zero eight six again we move on to x3 that is equal to g of x2 that is equal to we have one point three three zero eight six plus one raised to the power one over three and that is also giving us one point three two five eight eight and then lastly we have x4 equals g of x3 that is equal to this comes here 1.32588 plus 1 all exponents 1 over 3 and that is definitely equal to 1.32494 
So at the end, the approximated roots or solution of the function f of x by fixed point iteration method after four iterations is giving us 1.32494.